Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm a game developer with Eric's Curiosa working on Sorcery Contested Realm. And this is the League Championship match for the Sorcery League Season 3. And I'll jump in, but I just wanted to acknowledge that I will be giving commentary and additional thoughts. I'm recording this after the match, but you'll hear me play because I'm actually one of the players in the Sorcery League, and I happen to make it to the finals. So let's jump in and enjoy this match. It's a best of three. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the finals of the Season 3 Tabletop Simulator Sorcery League. I am here with Mike, and um, I'll let, uh, I I'm in uh, New Haven, Connecticut, in the United States, and I'll let uh, Mike introduce himself. Hey, uh, I'm Mike. Um, uh, I'm from the Bay Area in California, um, and I'm excited to play. Sounds great. Um, so here is, I was just showing on screen the uh, Death Speaker deck, which I'll be playing, and now this is the uh, Avatar of Earth, that's AOE, Avatar of Earth deck that um, Mike will be playing its three elements, and um, I'm excited to play. So here is the Tabletop Simulator page, um, and I have the deck set up, and we can jump in. It's a best of three match. Good luck, Mike. Have fun. Looking forward to this game. Yeah, you do. All right, I'm just going to shuffle up because I was higher seed in the main um, portion of the game, um, uh, main portion of the league. I get to I get to go first, basically, if I want. In the first game, it's best of three. And we're just going to think about mulligans. Um, let's see. I don't need two mulligan. steps. That and I don't really this. want yeah, too many yeah. earth sites against Avatar of Earth. The aqueduct is good because starting on a water site will... I'll keep turn off berry two. effects and earthquake and from my opponent in, uh this one spell all right one spell for me and one uh site all right we'll do two spells and one site for me i'm looking for mana acceleration and grandmaster wizard is good for card draw all right it's a good mulligan for I me we'll start things off by playing Aqueduct, and it is returned. I don't love the okay. Earth Just element because it does power up the Avatar of Earth, but I do like the Water element because Boy, it uh, will uh, count as a Water site for me. All right, I'll untap. I'll draw a spell. I will tap. I will play a step here, and then a Land Surveyor to draw. The Vile Imp is good for me. It's a good defense return. against the Avatar of Earth. Yeah, okay. Uh, gonna put out a step, and then we'll uh, play Highly Falconer here. I regret a little bit that I got rid of the Firebolts, because Firebolts is an efficient way of dealing with Highland Falconer and Bats, but and that's it. my Imp Perfect. should be able to handle them. I'm and staying away. I'm going to be playing in my back row. I will draw a spell. Tricky. I'll I'm thinking about where to put the color out of space. Play. Mike, by the way, um, what is our level of uh, take backs? If somebody is like, "Oh, I meant to do this slightly differently." Oh, oh I'm 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 pretty uh, pretty cool about that. So yeah, just kind of whatever. I mean, I guess like if somehow you like knew something about my hand. Yeah, sure, sure. Probably, like, yeah, not yeah, that. but like, but otherwise, but otherwise, I don't really care. Yeah, great. Okay, playing playing chill. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Sounds good. I will put in Set a down somewhere in a competitive game. It's always else. good to check with your opponent. I'll put this windmill over here, and yeah, I I don't want to put the color out of space in the Straight corner spell. because it'll get turned off too easily. To so this way, uh, I'm gonna play a I anticipate here. that the bats will come Just in. I'll be able to kill it with the imp. Move both my units here. Yep. Uh, and then uh, I think I'll just, uh, I'm going to use the mana now, I think. Um, I'm going to just use a common sense. Sure. Um, we'll just get a uh, a trusty grapple shot. Yep. And um, then it's your turn. Okay. I'll untap. I will draw a spell. I'll start by having my land surveyor 
attack your um this is an example of efficient mana usage yeah i can't attack the bats and then i will use the land surveyor's ability i use the death speaker to cast land surveyor and draw a site i still don't want to play the color out of space and then i need to play it in a way that won't get covered up but i don't know maybe it's okay to play it which site i don't know yeah, I guess I'll play. A I need to have ruins. two oh, air thresholds teams. to be able to play um, the Chaos Twister. All right, I'll play Ruins there, and then I'll play a Violent Pier. And cut your so by using the Land Surveyor first, I was I was able and to turn. get the extra like sight to bring myself up to four right. mana. Let's just put out um, play a Humble Village here. Okay. I'm not. Who am I making the token? I don't think so. I'll skip the token. Okay. Um, and then I'll just play a Pudge Butcher here. Yep. And uh, Pester. Okay. So Pudge Butcher uh, is a major threat. Well I have two ways of dealing with it, the Earthquake will... or the Chaos Twister. Yeah, I guess I'm going to draw a site. I draw a site because I'm not quite ready to play the color out of space okay. yet. I don't know exactly where it should go. I don't, I don't like Pudge. Kind of scary. I'm going to put... Color so space, the right? tower is good because it lets and me play, play Grandmaster play Wizard. Chaos Twister. No. On this yeah, on guy. Tabletop Simulator, we and have special rules for how to resolve this card. For Tabletop Simulator, okay. we have a simulation using a D20. Um, do you remember the rules for that? Uh, I remember the six the six through ten hits where you want, but other than that, I forget the other the other details. But yeah, here we go. Uh, so six, six through twenty. And we'll just go. For this, a one or a two always fizzles. A three is one square away in the chosen, one square away oh, away, um, straight away. Four is uh, away into the right. Five is away into the left, and um, six through twenty is fair. So. I could choose this square. I, I'm just saying, I could choose your avatar versus square, but then I risk if I roll a three, four, five that it goes out of the grid. And then if it goes out of the grid, then the whole effect fizzles. So I'm going to choose, I guess I'm going to choose, I choose the void. Right I choose here. as my target square that I'm blowing at. I'm trying to blow it onto square seven. And then we'll roll. Okay. okay. Two, it fizzles. So I just blew it so hard that it. <laughs> Flew out of the grid. I forgot that. Somewhere um, else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, that was horrible. And, um, <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Was extremely. Yeah. Bad. So Pudge. Yeah. All right. All right. That's a huge. Uh, all right. I have. Uh, so I I play like old school magic, right? So I flipped many chaos orbs in my life, and uh, <laughs> I feel your pain. Yep. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah. Pretty horrible. Uh. It is your turn. So it has a pretty high chance of working successfully. Job, and I didn't please. really care where it landed. Obviously, if it had landed on the Avatar of Earth, that would have been great because it would have done five damage. But mostly, I just wanted to get rid of the Pudge Butcher. I picked the Void because then it would be banished. And if they play Pillars of Zeros, then they don't heal. So it's minor, but that's why I preferred the Void. And I obviously didn't want it to have a chance of hitting my own Avatar. Pudge, your Death Speaker. Okay. So take five. Five. And that, and uh, I'm just going to grapple shot you with my avatar. Okay. Should be for five. One, two, three, four, plus the one. Yeah, the avatar itself gets uh, one, power. Two. So you're uh, three, four, five, six. I count six. One, two, three, yeah. four, five. Oh, sorry, that, it's an aqueduct. Yes, yep. for six. Yep. So this is the power of the avatar of Earth. It's a huge amount of damage. I'll attack you with my avatar as well. All right, I will defend. And this is this is where violins can be useful. Um, they're able to soak up. You know, I will. That just saved me six life. All right, and did two damage to my opponent. So that's like an eight life swing. A spell. Had the pudge butcher gone away, I would have I would have attacked with the violins on the on the twister. Yeah, because my imp would have been on the windmill, and then you wouldn't have been able to grapple shot me. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Well, all right. I will tap to attacking me on the aqueduct with the, Grandmaster with the Avatar of Earth 
so I have seven is now. five I instead of six. You have a mana left, right? Yeah, I have one mana left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess I'll play a core. And I still have one mana left, and it's your turn. Let's just draw a spell. Yeah, I we'll just uh, we'll pudge you. Down to four. I was hoping here that I could block with a wizard. We'll just, with a, I'll just grapple shot you with my... My opponent has a grapple okay. shot. So that was 20 down to zero real fast. Also, two grapple shots, what? two pudge butchers. Out. Hit, two pudge butcher hits. Humble village here. So this just gives another opportunity for a death blow. And I'll note, you'll see the infiltrate there. We were playing under previous infiltrate rules, which is that I'll start by having my Grandmaster Wizard attack your, your avatar of Earth. Let's do that. And it dies. And then I use the death speaker's ability to cast that for free so i draw three spells this is the best catch-up okay. mechanic in the game Perfect. when you're I on death's now. door you can cast for free so one, as two, three four five six seven mana as death death dealer I will move here. from your from your cemetery or from any cemetery All once right. i will play fate changeling on your um pudge butcher so these two infiltrates in my I hand play two land surveyors here and the inf it is your turn okay the in the infiltrates are using old okay. um the old rules before the errata Untapped. which is I'm that it breaks when the spell, minion attacks or does damage but I'm does not break when it loses stealth earthquake. okay uh my card is frozen can't pick it back up oh there it goes okay <laughs> Uh, so I'll, yeah, I'll do it here. Okay. Rearrange as you wish. Uh, I mean, I'll just, I'll, I mean, I'll keep the, let's see. Yeah. And okay. here, uh, yeah, and I here we, as weird as it seems, I think that's actually still a thing I should do. I might do the same thing actually. So, um, um here's so, the benefit of yeah, the, of the water site. The then, land uh, surveyors are staying there. Uh, I'm going to, they can't be buried by the earthquake because it's a water site. I'll just swap, um, um uh, I'm just moving this over for the sake of being able to. You want this here? Move, yeah, move that one. Yeah, and then yeah, and then I'll move this one to the back. Okay, and then um, uh, I'll have my my avatar come in and attempt to attack your your avatar. I will defend with a land surveyor. You take one. You got it. seventeen, and then um, I'll come in and try to attack your avatar with my soldier. Ah. So I'm that the wrong thing. So that aqueduct let me <laughs> survive the earthquake. Uh, I'm in. It's risky. I don't have any minions now. Is everything for my turn? So good. I all right. I definitely and need ten. some sort of minion here. Draw a spell. And there's oh, a minion. The, uh, so that that's that's pretty so. that's pretty um, significant. It's still an aqueduct. The core does not get buried oh, sorry, from the from the earthquake <laughs> again. So one of the best defenses um, against a bury an earthquake is to have water sites. This is a four element a river of flame over here. I'll play yeah. a vibe and one imp. and do two to you. One thing I didn't get a chance to and note is that my opponent my, could have potentially um, cut off my 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 sites. To, um, Nah, let's not bother with that. I'll leave the, I'll leave the fate. Is that what I want? I could I have returned the violent and replay it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to play the violent. It's all good. I prefer. I appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight mana right now. Let's let's leave the fate changeling, um, and instead um, use this violent. So I'll do two more to you with this violent. Okay. Because I can only like, cast. Who weren't? Yeah. Okay. So if my opponent and, gets another, um, it's your turn. Grapple okay. shot. Let's if my opponent gets another grapple um, shot, I lose. Yeah. Just if the they spell. get, spell. if they get a common right, sense, they can get a grapple uh, shot. I lose. Do you mind but, if I just but they've already here. played one like common it. sense and yeah, two grapple I guess shots. What I'm gonna do here is, 
Right. It was after Avatar. Yep. Take two. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let's see. So my imps, uh, my imps have uh, done play eight damage back here. Okay. And then uh, I have one more mana left, and I will play a divine healing. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, so so that's a great benefit for the avatar birth. I will draw a spell. I have a lot of work to do to eat one, through two, three, this four, much mana. Five, six, seven. I have eight mana. And I continue available. to need. Right, I continue to need minions to be able to chump to block play, against the. Uh, Windmill against the Avatar of Earth. So I have nine mana. And I just keep ramping up my mana. And this is the benefit of the land surveyors. I will search for I got a, a um has to be a wizard, I think. Apprentice yeah. wizard. I will uh shuffle my deck. I will play an apprentice wizard. Uh that's sure. five mana. Um I draw a spell. I will play an Aquamarine core that cancels out, and then I will infiltrate your um, Pudge Butcher, yep. and it is your turn. Okay. I do wish there was a way to... So that was nine mana. Over to you. I've uh, had this come up like numerous times uh, in our in other matches where it's like, well, this is like controlled by you now, so I should like didn't untap every turn. Totally. Um, and I, I, don't, I wonder if there's like a way to do that. I just don't know enough about tabletop simulation. Play in person. But if no, you play in but... person, then then it, um, then it, uh, you can right, do I'll what you want. Draw... Yeah, I'm just drawing a spell. Yeah, okay. I guess that will do it. I have a berry on your apprentice wizard. That's played. <laughs> I tease him. Still I'm not making. Back. I'm not making it. <laughs> I'm not going to make him keep it. I'll let you take it back. I'll let you take it back. So I take it back. <laughs> take it. Uh... Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> Oh, did yeah. I not use so, a, oh, did I use this? Oh, that was stupid of me. I Last forgot. I forgot to use I, this this imp. I could have used this imp for free. I forgot oh, to use my death speaker ability you, last round. Go for it. Is it okay? I would have. No, no, no. I would have. Yeah, totally oh, fine. he's yeah, letting. I, it, he's I, giving I mean, a take yeah, back. You're just, just shooting me for two. Oh, yeah, that's but, nice. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Good sportsmanship. Nice. Yep. Yeah, of course. Okay, Good sportsmanship, let's, Mike. Let's Way to go. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna play a fudge butcher here. Yeah, that is pretty late. Also, yeah, that, to say that I would have uh, used that, but it's yeah, I guess it's okay. Um, and this is the problem: if you can't close out the game uh, against Death Speaker, and Death Speaker is able to stay at Death's door for a while, all of that free casting can be very significant. Um, the fact that I've drawn so many cards from the Grandmaster I'm Wizard. I'm gonna play a Highland Falconer here. Highland Falconer is scary because it gets have. two minions Search. that I have to deal with. But I have so much mana that it's probably it's probably okay for me. And I've been saving that earthquake to try and get a two for one for a while. Uh, that's my turn. All right. And I have a I have a lot of draw a uh, spell. Uh, this these guys are on top. Yep. I have a lot of mana. All right. I have one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten mana available. Technically, just to be I'm clear, those cores over. are on are on the avatar. Here. But at a, um, usually there's five mana, to avoid so gonna track clogging the board. Have... Uh, oh, we can use this. I have a total of ten mana, and I'm spending five of it on on earthquake. Let me. Does it make sense to do any shenanigans? With I'm the probably first? I'm probably thinking about using right, the Pudge so, Butcher and um, maybe also bearing the Pudge Butcher. I don't know. Here, uh, these guys die. Uh, yep. This is your site. Here, here, and this is my site, and this is now underneath. Um. That's underneath yep. the step because that does actually get buried. Um, oh. All right, so that was, that was five mana. That was five mana. I will then use this Pudge Butcher to um, use its ability to hit you, and it will kill itself, right? Because you do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So you take five. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this dies. Well, those so I didn't need to worry about. Yeah, but I didn't fight you. Yeah, we fight. 
So these. Oh, we fight. Right, right, right. Yeah, we fight. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you, right. Avatar of Earth kills the Punch Butcher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Kills. Okay. And then I will play a land surveyor here and draw a site. So at any point, if my opponent draws a um, right, I guess I'll use lightning, a lightning bolt, or a my, um, um, common sense, or grapple shot, I lose. So I'm, I'm. It's a very precarious situation. All right, I will. I'm remembering to use my I'll death speaker ability. Guy. Okay. And then um, I will use my uh, this land surveyor. Uh, I think I was worried about blink. Also, site. would be a way. The pudge butcher. If the pudge butcher blinks, then it can use its projectile. A... But but the Stop avatar of Earth here, doesn't have that ability, so I'm safe it's from the avatar right of Earth there. unless it gets a grapple shot. It does not matter. It is your turn. Drawing a So at any point, Grapple Shot is still winning the game for my opponent. If uh, I'm, I'm, you might notice that I have Quarters and Thias. Okay. Yeah, I'll just see, I'll use my avatar to draw a site. And that's my turn. All right. Untap. Draw a spell. Play a core. Um, I have one, two, three. I have one, two. That cancels out. Three, four, five, six. I have a lot of seven, mana. Eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Is that right? Uh, twelve, I think. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, this but turn I've, you have eleven. Yeah, but I, I have twelve, but I've yeah. got one. Okay, uh, yeah, because I just played the Ruby Core. Attacking here for one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will then use my Death Speaker's ability to play Fae Changeling for free. I will play it here, returning this. Uh, um, Apprentice Wizard. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to draw more cards. Um, I will then. The Fate Changeling should be gone. For three mana, play an Apprentice Wizard. Okay. The Fate Changeling and does not stay in play. Spell. The Fate Changeling should be banished. Um, and, then, and this Fate was from Cemetery, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, that would be much better. Thank you. I will spend one, two, three, four mana. To infiltrate your Pudge Butcher. Sure. So infiltrate extremely powerful against and powerful minions. If I attack so I'm him, worried about grapple shot. I'm just trying to avoid grapple shot. Protects me from a grapple shot. This way, my so opponent had one, I think, one. lightning bolt in their deck. My opponent, my opponent had one lightning bolt in their deck, but two Nine. grapple shots in their deck. Either way, common and sense will fetch the one they need. But this way, if they if they draw a grapple shot, I don't instantly lose so because can't. they will grapple shot into uh, one of my small spell. minions. But then I could defend if they attack. Um, right, well, I could defend we'll, my um, other small minion. I'll infiltrate your apprentice wizard. Okay. Uh, I will. Actually, go ahead and put out. I'm getting kind of here. close to being able to put them at death's door with their own Pudge put Butcher and Firebolts. And then, uh, yeah, it's your turn. All right, untap. And because I have so much mana, um, <laughs> I draw a spell. And this will, we're, you're about to see the power of Quarters and Thias. I have 12. Thias. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's start by, yeah. Let's start by playing a Grandmaster Wizard. That seems good. So I go down to six mana, and I draw um, three spells. I don't even know. What, do I really need to do that? The Can I not do attacking. nine to them? I will. I have six mana left. All right, I'll play a core. That doesn't change anything. 
Um, mm -hmm. I will, yeah, so I'll tap to play this tower. Okay. Now I have, um, now I have eight mana left, right? Because I've spent, I've spent, mm -hmm. do I have eight mana? Yeah. I have eight mana left because I've spent six. All right. And then I will, I will play. Well, your total mana is actually at 14 because of the core. Okay. I, it's, it's fine. Um, then, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is, this is okay. I, um, I fireable two for, um, for three. Sure. Uh, and I have, I have six mana left, right? Then I attack you here to put you a death door. I think you have only five mana, right? I'm counting the rune. Okay, five mana left. Hold on. So far I've played, um, I've played Grandmaster, Wizard, and Firebolt so far. That's what I played. And yeah. Onyx Core. Yeah. Right, so, so I spent, started the turn. Yeah, I've spent a total of nine mana. Oh, sorry. I think you're right with the total because well, of the tower that you played. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, five is fine because five is enough because then I play Cortis and Thias. So this this, oh, okay. this one, this guy did one to you to put you at Death Door. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I play Cortis and Thias. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then, at this, and then at the start of your turn, I make your avatar attack the um, the land surveyor. Yeah. Yep. So Cortis and Thias helped me get the Mike. get the death blow sorry, at the sorry, end. I so slow. I mean, there was just so much. Oh no, you're fine. Yeah, I know this game. This game went. I think if it goes long, you're going to beat me. Um, yeah, I mean, you had uh, you had value, so. a lot of chances to um, top deck like a grapple or or anything like that. But um, mm -hmm. wow! All right. Um, Okay, so we go I think we're sideboarding now. Game two, and we get to uh, sideboard now. Yep. Okay. That, by the Sorry, way, so I think that was the biggest comeback uh, I've ever had. Uh, in, well, here it is. Yeah. I see. Got it. I see it. That was, right. they so ended up, I ended up doing 27 okay. life, uh, 27 uh, damage to the Avatar okay. of Earth. I'm sideboarding. When I was at from like zero, right? I was at zero and they were at 18 and then they healed for seven. So I did 25 damage while I was at death's door. So we're sideboarding now. My strategy is I don't really need the summoning sphere because the avatar of earth is going to come to me. Um, and I want to put in the, um, the Titan, I think These are the cards I'm taking out. I took out Thunderstorm because they move a lot and it's hard to pin them and down and disenchant because they don't have very many artifacts in their deck. And then I'm very happy to put in the Titan and um, another Chaos Twister. Uh, the Fate Changeling can be useful against um, a bunch of different things and, um, and obviously an extra Infiltrate. So... Um, Maybe even more. Oh, an extra berry, I mean. So I, you can fetch berries with common sense. So okay. if you need to uh, promptly yeah, get rid fair. of a phalanx, right, a phalanx or a pudge butcher or something right. like that, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the berries are, are a, an efficient. So yeah, this we'll is, we'll looks to me like a very we'll nice start. Site, but I'll keep my, um, yeah, I'll keep my spells. Okay. All right. This Great. looks like a pretty good start to me. Ready. All right. I can get uh, to Grandmaster play, Wizard like on turn four or yeah, something I'll, like that. I'll play, uh, uh, I can play I Ruins. Know. I can play Windmill. Nice. I can get Highland Princess on turn that so two. Oh. That might even be a turn three so. Grandmaster Wizard. Yeah, I think I'm going to draw a, so. I guess, turn turn four. It's a turn four Grandmaster I'll Wizard. to play a... Boneyard is so ruins. good if I lose some minions early. And a uh, Philosopher's Stone. Your but my opponent also minus. got a pretty fast start with the Amethyst Core. So they're at, right now, they're at sure. two I'm mana. Play, uh, a Rustic Village. And we'll go ahead and make the token. 
And in some matchups, the the significance of going first can can be quite quite big. I'm still going to stay away from them. I I assume. Draw a bell. I don't want my earth site in the middle of the board. I don't think. All right, I will tap. Play a windmill over here. Sure. And then for one mana, I'll play a Highland Princess. Um, okay. I'll search. I'll find a. I guess I'll get an. Uh, an Aquamarine Core. I got an Aquamarine Core so that I can play Fate Changeling sure. in um, case I draw into that. And then I have one mana left, so I'll play it. It is your turn. Okay. I don't know. There's stall. No, this is a turn. I really could play Grandmaster Wizard next turn with a tower. That's crazy. But my opponent is also Pudge getting Butcher a very here. nice start. So this Pudge Butcher is very significant. I yeah, definitely have to deal with it in some card. way. All right. I Maybe I should just take it and play the Grandmaster Wizard. Spell? Okay. I will. I Attack probably. Highland Princess, uh, your foot soldier. Sure. I will use the Death Speaker's ability for the Highland Princess. I will go get a, I don't know, I guess a Onyx Core. I'll play it and I will move to here. So I'm trying to avoid the Pudge Butcher. That, that, I think that might have been a pretty significant mistake. My thinking is they can't the Pudge Butcher can't get me very easily unless they have something that yeah, moves them the to the yeah, right site. Um, Grapple Shot you, doesn't work because you have to uh, have something that you hit. Yeah. I don't think I fully considered the issues here because they also have yeah. Atlas Wanderer in their deck yes. and that lets them swap here, things actually. around. Okay. I think we may yeah. be seeing that this right here. here. Okay. Um, so, and then I'll play, um, I'm gonna play Atlas Wanderers here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great play. This. So, um, you know, I had the chance to do a turn four Grandmaster Wizard. Maybe that's what I should have been doing, hoping to draw uh, into an infiltrate. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and put you. Because this is a major much. problem for me. Yeah, I took five anyway, good. and I slowed down my mana base. Untap. If I had. If I had played the Grandmaster Wizard last round, no. taken the five anyway, then I would have three more spells, two, and then I could play Boneyard to get here. the Grandmaster Wizard so back. Have how much mana? Five mana? So Wait, one, two, three, really would have been... Four, five, six. I have six mana right now, but five mana normally. Right? right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. All right, and then I will play a... Because I end up playing it now when I could have I could have played it sooner five mana because of my um and then I draw three spells and then for one mana I guess for so now with an imp with an imp and uh an infiltrate I mean an yeah, imp and a firebolt and I can take out um and it's your turn. I can take out one of the minions okay but. Yeah, I think this is probably too little too late because I just, just a spell. the the pudge is really powerful. I can't yeah, we'll, defend against that uh, because it's a projectile. Has been pudged. So he's taking care of the violence so the Atlas Wanderers can make a productive attack. Down to 10. Aaron, my avatar. Well, It's pretty much the same either way if you... If you pudge um, the avatar and then play, uh, use Atlas Wanderers to attack. And just, yeah, so this vampire is a real okay. problem for me. Draw a spell for the turn. I have one, two, I have five mana. So I really want All right, to I think this works. So take, my Grandmaster Wizard get my, is going to yeah. move to here. I will... Okay. Um, Draw I think I'm very worried about the... I think I'm worried about the vampire. Have my Grandmaster Wizard pick it up. Okay. The Grandmaster Wizard will then cast a uh, Firebolt, um, which only costs me one mana. Okay. And I will have two uh, 
firebolt hit the pudge butcher and one firebolt hit the grandmaster wizard himself and then you have a he's so the philosopher's stone so now it's dropped yeah and now my death speaker is going to pick up the uh philosopher's stone got it okay okay i now uh tap and i play all right i will play a boneyard right here okay I will summon my Grandmaster Wizard for free. Maybe I'll put it. I had my Grandmaster Wizard pick up the go. Philosopher's Stone so oh, that I guess. I it guess. is the bearer for that that's first it. fire spell. And now uh, I draw three spells because that's how Boneyard works. All right. I also got an extra mana. I will... I have five mana I'm just a li I mean, this is a great, just a great ramping, great play, but... Just a little too yeah. slow. Okay, I will play a. I will play another core that is, we both uh, got really good starts. So I'll just go up to seven, um, and then I guess for two mana or for one mana, right? Okay, so firebolts from my death speaker only costs one because it's. It's a new bearer, yep. and so I kill off your Pudge Butcher, and I have four mana left. And then I will play Chaos Twister, um, okay. and I will play it on Atlas Wanderers, and I will try and land it right there, and I would be really happy if this did not mess We'll up. see if the That's Chaos Twister works. Like. And that was my last four mana, yep. because this didn't get a discount, because Grandmaster Wizard counts at... Oh, actually, I do have one extra mana, because... Um, this doesn't say cast, it just says summon. Got it, okay. So um, I actually still have one mana left, and I've used air, and I've used fire discount. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see how this goes. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. I'm choosing this square for the... Um, that's from yeah, the game wonder. show Pressure Luck. Come for on. anybody who doesn't know, Pressure Luck. It was a pretty good game show. Let's see how this okay. Chaos Twister works. So that works. Um, yeah. That was yeah, so. That was a pretty huge turn for me. I took care yeah. of three of their take, minions. Yeah, and you take five, and I have one mana left. With that one, and mana, this is the power. This is the power of philo philosopher's stone. This is the power of philosopher's stone in a three because or four element deck. A, I've only cast air with spellcasters. Spell I think I'm getting. I, I think I'm get getting four a, mana. Maybe I should get an imp. Um, this is four mana yeah, discount. I'll, I'll get an imp instead. Oh. There's an imp imp, and it is. Um, it is your turn. So I managed to stabilize right, the board gonna, at least a little bit. Cast gigantism on my avatar. Yeah, yep. such a good spell. And then I will attack you here for. I think it's actually eleven. So I Fast. managed to almost stabilize the board. But then and the gigantism. And now I'm in real trouble right. because now a grapple yeah. shot ends it. Draw a... I guess I will draw a... All right, I'll draw a site. That's my start of turn. I will... I'm not sure why I needed a site. Play. I don't think there's much there. I could do. I, if I had... I will I'm like kind of close. Move but here... I can play a titan or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I think I just have to hope that they don't instead have grapple shot. You okay? Instead of I play the step. Oh, I'm, I think I'm trying to figure out an alternate here. layout. You want to move? Yeah, I'll move. Yeah. And then I'll play this here. That only costs me six. Mm -hmm. uh, so you take you take six. Yep. So I think I'm playing around. I'm trying to play well, around he grapple. He's back here. But right. but I just don't think I just don't think I can. Like a bozo. And. Um, He's just untapped right there. Okay. And okay. then um, I'm just trying to play. I'm trying to play around grapple shot is what I'm trying to play around. Um, and yeah. then I will play no, a vile imp here for, oh, no, right? The whole thing, it doesn't work. Darn it. I don't know exactly what I'm thinking. Sorry. Maybe I was like waiting to, I was also going to play. All right. Oh, right. And because I can play I earthquake, right, bury my you. own Titan. I have one mana left. And then right, recast it for free. Stuff. Okay, fine. I move. I move this guy here. Uh, I move this guy here. Then I play my violin and then blow him up. And then I sure. play him for free yeah. with a death speaker. And it's your turn. 
Yep. So with a grapple shot, I lose. But next turn, next turn, I would win the game because I could I could recast the Titan. Yeah, I can just and I could play Courtesan Thias. Yep. Good game. All right. So that was it. That was a very good start. It's all good. All right. Um, As a great use of gigantism. Game. Yep. So I'm taking a Fey Changeling, um, a Chaos Twister, the Titan, which yeah, was very good, good last game. Much. I just, that that early budget, I thought I was going to be able to avoid it, but then you had Atlas Wanderers. Um, mm -hmm. That was. Yeah, it was a great use of Atlas Wanderers. Good. So this is a good sideboard against and Avatar of Earth. The, the, yeah, I just yeah I didn't didn't quite have what I needed. You're just a little too fast. So I'm removing again the thunderstorms, the summoning sphere, thunderstorms because the avatar moves around, summoning sphere because they come to me, and um, a dischant because they just don't have very many artifacts. So that's, you know, that's 10% of my deck that I just changed with this sideboard. Okay. And I think that's going to, that certainly can help me. Thunderstorm is great if the avatar doesn't move around. But with right, Blink and, and with Grapple Shot, the, the Thunderstorm isn't quite as useful, I think, against yeah, Avatar yeah, of Earth. Go, so yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah, this is the final game, um, game three. Speaker. And I'm happy to see mm -hmm. uh, a water site to be able to start on to, again, be protected from those berries and earthquakes. Okay. And I'm happy to see Land Surveyor. That's quite good. And Prince Wizard, good too. So this is this is a pretty strong hand. I guess I'm thinking, do I really need that humble village? And the answer is probably not. I'll be able to get a second earth threshold somehow. I would rather not have as many earth I'm sites in my hand. I really one just one, want one site. Two think. Earth sites total, and that's it. Okay. So, okay. And, uh, um, and there's my second. There's second Earth site, so I'm going to be able to play, um, the, earthquake uh, when I need to. And I just and the reason why I don't want a lot of Earth sites so. is because the Avatar of Earth gets powered up whenever yeah, okay. it's nearby I'll, Earth sites. I'll keep this so because, Aqueduct uh, okay, is an Earth that. site, but it's also a so, water site. Okay. So it has Earth right. threshold, so and therefore it. With a, it helps the Avatar of Earth, but uh, it's a water site also because it has water. And it is your turn. I'm not exactly so sure I'm why not play the Aqueduct first, but I guess but I just want I want any here. Earth sites off to the yeah, edge uh, of the realm. I don't right. want it near the middle. Draw a spell. Uh, All right, I'm I'll happy to see a berry. It's good if, if they get an I'll early pudge or anything like and, that. Um, I'm just developing my board nice and slowly. And draw sight. And it's your turn. Happy to see uh, the tower. If I need it, I can do something cool with it. Uh, oh, hey. It's good to go first. I like this extra sure. turn. No common sense this turn. Sure. Let's see what they get. The defaults. I can find one. There we go. Probably yep. a grapple shot. Yeah. Okay. So they get a grapple yeah, shot. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Oh, so from my hand, uh, untap. I will draw a spell. So I'm just gonna, you know, plan to keep um, my land surveyor available I will tap to block. To a... If they grapple shot to here, me, and then attack on top of that, I would like core. I would like the land surveyor to be available to block um, or to defend. Launch. And then, the core um, is on my I'll avatar. I'm just wizard here. And draw some All right. Card. And it is your turn. So, uh, I will draw a sight. Okay. Uh, so I'm happy to see out. this is a good good start for me, and they're not going too fast. Here. I'm a little surprised that they uh, that then, they put uh, the ruins over there, a, 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 but here. you see why because they have here. Uh, and then have Grim Reaper. Now, I could right. kill the Grim Reaper and with a berry or with an earthquake, but like um, Grim it, and Grim Reaper is a, a great of, sideboard just, against Death Speaker. But I, so I'm scary, the thing, so. the card that I value right, more is Vile Imp. Playing a land surveyor here, I will and the land surveyors a, have mostly done their job because that's how that card works. I have two mana left. 
I know you have a grapple shot. It seems so. The I know that the vial that that the Grim Reaper will be able to move grapple shot and take out something. Yeah, take out the land surveyors, but that I don't like it. I probably have enough mana. Tap. Play a lone tower. I now have. And I'm happy to play the long game if if my opponent doesn't want to connect their sights to mine. Common sense. I will... That cost me two. Is that what I want to do? Yep. I will search. I will play... So I don't want to get a Vile Imp here, or play it at least, because then the the Grim Reaper could take out all my Vile Imps, which would be quite bad. Play yet another land surveyor. You're going to move and then... Attack me. It is a little sad to move three power worth of minion, to lose three power worth of minions. But the reason why I'm, the reason why I'm willing to let this happen is, is because um, it's using up a grapple shot to not do any mana, any damage to me. I'm I'm probably fine with that. Yeah, and then I'll I'll just do the thing. So I'll hit a lancer here. So my opponent gets to see my hand, which is they significant. But and and this banishing really matters for the death speaker because I can't I can't replay them. Your hand and spell book. Okay, right. Okay, so I just get to see what your hand is. Very earthquake. Okay, got it. Okay, uh, and then I'll go search your deck, I guess. Yep. And I will say this is a little bit of a um, double-edged sword with the lighthouse. I have nothing to do with it, so it's your turn. All right. Because the lighthouse, I can't bury the Grim Reaper myself. So I'm, att- I'm attacking it with my avatar because the avatar is immune to, or do, like, it doesn't die from lethal damage. And I would like my apprentice wizard to stick around. Island I don't want it to be banished because when it I dies, I want to be able to draw cards. A... Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone is very good in three or four element decks. I so will... play it. Um, I'm it. I've spent three mana, correct? So uh, I have yeah. filtered. Yeah, two for the princess. Okay. I'm... And then with my last two mana, I will cast um, this to just exile it. Get rid of that. I get that it out is... of my opponent's. Wait, Cemetery, oh, so that Death if they play, to cast Grim Reaper. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, because you can do it to my step two. Yes. yes. Okay. If they play it Pillar of Zeros, okay. they right. if so they play Pillar of Zeros, they heal one fewer with that. And if I have oh, Boneyard at some point, oh, then they no. can't get that minion back. So that's the Finger. that's the reason why. And then uh, they are doing a good job play. controlling the yeah, space on the map. And this Here. is exactly why I saved the berry. So and I could have buried the Grim Reaper, but I didn't. Because I was saving it for Pudge. I play a Ruby Core, um, so that's a wash. I um, have my Apprentice Wizard attack your Pudge Butcher, and then I cast it right away. And so I do that because I since it's I value the, first I guess I value the card draw, and then I um, draw a spell. I guess I'm valuing the card draw over the one damage. I... Tap and play a dark tower, I guess, here. So um, I have, right, I have that much extra mana. Ooh. Yeah, that seems right. Play an apprentice wizard here. Okay. That costs me the full three. So I'm down yeah. to two. And I draw a spell. All right, the Pudge has one bush, one damage on him. Yeah. Um, I will bury him. Okay. And so I was just thinking if there was for one with a Highland Princess, and the, the berry was the last of my mana, and that's my turn. Go right ahead. Okay. So I'm I'm yeah, making a little bit of progress. My opponent my is not Avatar making as fast here. progress this game, and, then, uh, and they didn't they didn't get a blink or grapple shot. The... Okay. So they're getting three artifacts for that, which is obviously great. Definitely slows me down. Okay. Untap. Untap. I will draw a spell. All right. I want to save my imps to deal damage to the avatar. 
um, and then I'll use her ability to um, search. I can get more cores. Okay, I guess I'll get a this thins this thins my deck out. And I I already got rid of all my land surveyors conveniently. For one, succeed. And I will. I'm not sure I'd really mind it. And I guess I'm thinking I have enough mana. Okay. So draw a fell. Oh my gosh! I see what the issue is. I don't have any fire. And then move your um, lighthouse and the Rift Valley. I can take this one if you want. Oh, I don't have a fire site. That's relatively unlikely. I did have the Ruby uh, Core, but the Ruby okay, Core yeah, got dispelled. Attack your site for whatever this is. For five. Yeah, five. Okay, so I'm down to 14. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's my turn. Go ahead. I will draw a site. I will tap to play no uh six man out so i definitely want a fire site okay. to be able to play I these imps and hurt the avatar but desert. please take one. Oh, uh sorry uh let me think for a second uh, can i think can i think for one second more yeah sure. okay. i was the uh, reason why i needed to think about that was because bad. the avid the um, the atlas wanderers could attack could defend um, it i will attack your atlas wanderers with my um, if i had attacked my, the avatar French wizard, that's the Atlas Wanderers could have defended, um, and then they would have been then, on a water site, um, then I and my earthquake wouldn't play, work. Uh, Boneyard, and I will okay. choose to get an apprentice wizard and draw a spell. Do I know and some, this is exactly so. I got rid of the Grim Reaper before, so I can do something like this. Okay. I know. Oh, I that, guess it didn't matter. I play earthquake. I'm playing earthquake. I see. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess it didn't matter. Rearrange these. Uh, I just want to get my own site away from the Earth sites. It is your turn. So the Avatar of Earth uh, doesn't have as much power turn. when attacking me. I'll just I'll hit you here for four. Down to ten. Uh, and then I'll play a Phalanx here, and that's my turn. Go ahead. All right. Untap. The Phalanxes Untap. are scary. I need an answer. All right. I will tap. I will play a ruins over here, I guess. And then I was a little a worried about getting. I was a little worried six. about getting uh, trapped Don't in. You also take six, or is it just? I mean, but I, I guess it's it's, seven, it's not that much of a concern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, your turn. Okay. Let's just draw another spell. Five total. Mana. I did, I by the cast, way, first of all, just get cast, a fire site. Um, I got a fire site last turn. A link on my phalanx. Okay. Uh, and I'll link it over here. Okay. Uh, I'll draw a spell. Yep. And then uh, I'm going to attack you here. Down to five. And then um, uh, I'm actually going to use my avatar to put out a pillar here. Okay. Ah, uh, look at the so pillar. Two in my yard. I have one. Okay. And so I can eat three. Yep. Eat. And I've got one more mana. So I now I can't play the Apprentice Wizard. Out. Um, I'm going to play a Pudge Butcher. I'm just deciding where it needs to go. Um, Pudge Butcher is scary. Yeah. Let's put it here. And sure, sure. All right. Untap. Draw a spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got Fade Changeling. Fade Changeling was a good draw. That will help okay. me. So anyway. If I had more mana, attacks, not okay. not not doing all that. So you can spend. If I had more mana, I could have yeah. put them at death's door. And then I play the vile imp, and then I guess I'll play a vile imp. Five. Atlas wanders gonna swip swap, so I guess like this you don't have another blank. Yeah, I'm just trying I'll to get them to death's door as soon um, as possible. Two more to you. Good morning. And then I'll tap and play a flood plane over here, I guess. And doesn't really to... matter too much where I play sites. They're so, probably putting me a death door. Okay. Um, I got to somewhat want to. But hopefully they have to use some resources like a grapple shot or something like that to put right. me a death door. Right now back here. Yeah. Sir. I will common sense. Yep. Uh, and here's the grapple shot. Order. 
a grapple shot. Yeah. And we'll have my uh, avatar uh, grapple this violin. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'll just, I guess, attack you here. And then uh, I'll move my avatar to here. Oops. Okay. And so they managed to get their uh, avatar safe. In, and I'm at death's door first. So spell. So it's very likely. I'm obviously getting them to death's door this yeah, round. Yes. Use this. It's very likely that. I mean, yeah, I basically I can't imagine how they could not. Okay. Death door. Um, I'm how I couldn't get a death and blow I next round. I'll tap to draw a sight. Uh, it's just, like, am I going to live until next okay, round? Because okay, we are both at death door. This is a double death door situation. Let's see what happens. This has been an incredible numbers. match, actually. I guess I'll just move back here. So they, so I guess, numbers. don't have a grapple shot. If they had a grapple shot, they'd just move forward and grapple. They don't have a common sense because they yeah, did have to play. use their grapple shot Maybe. to get me to death store and they didn't have a second one not to play a pudge or even yeah, a third one because i think they've played three so far and i'll pass pudge unfortunately wow, is not an effective game. defender right. um i draw a spell i attack with my uh fate changeling into your um phalanx then i cast sure. my fate changeling to bounce my own violin oh and then i, I didn't even think about it replay yeah. my violin what? I also yeah, had fire bolts, so. Although then you then you could just run your violin into it anyway. So yeah, I don't really have. The, no, no yeah, you have to be really far so, away. You, you, what a match! Yeah. Holy cow, this was epic. Good, good games. Yeah, very good games. Really, these were super. These were super close. All of these were all of these double death door. No, I didn't get you to double death door last game, but it was. Uh, close. Yeah, not the last game, but yeah, but all, yeah, all the other games were for sure. Wow. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a great match. It was a really great season. That um, that was the championship of season three. It was an eight-week-long season, and it's free to enter. Anybody can play. And then we had a top 16 single elimination tournament. So um, thank you to Eric's Curiosa for donating prizes for uh, to the league and to all the people who uh, donated uh, two Fluent uh, donated two foil Mega Amoebas to the champion. So I am I am very pleased to uh, get to use two foil Alpha Mega Amoebas, which I look forward to playing in the future. And um, we are running the, the League Championship Tournament now, but forthcoming, starting probably in January, we will have Season 4 of the League, and that will, again, be free to enter. Anybody can play. There's really no commitment. Um, if if you end up not playing games, you can still just join and have some fun, play a game or two. And uh, we've had a lot of generosity from the community, so we have good prizes. And hope that people come and have fun and play some sorcery. Have fun contesting the realm. Mm -hmm.